Um, so, of course, I have to start with where did this very creepy, disturbing idea come from? Um, it probably dates back to having children of my own and, you know, being handed that newborn and realizing I could drop it at any moment and I wouldn't be the responsible parent. But, yeah, following the worst case scenario, I think as a dramatist, you always kind of look for where the tension exists, where the tragedy exists. And yeah, I think my mind tends to wander late at night about how bad things could get. And yeah, I think that was the original idea behind it. Kind of reminds me of like when Stephen King wrote Pet Cemetery. he thought it was just like almost too ghoulish. He had to put it away because he yeah. was like, I can't imagine I've doing it. <laughs> did, you, did you have similar thoughts while kind of crafting the story? Yeah, I, I mean, there were moments when I just thought, I don't want to write this. Uh, you know, this is too, too painful. This is... And then, you know, you, sit, you put it aside for a week and then you pick it back up and go, you know what, I'm going to have to because I didn't stop thinking about it. And so until I write it, then it's just going to exist in my head. But, yeah, that's I can understand when he, when he said that what, how it feels sometimes. Um, so I've only seen a few, the first few episodes, so I'm still not sure where it's going. For you, did the whole story kind of fall into place or did you have to kind of discover you know, the three acts, where it was going? It, it's been, it's a very much a gradual process. You know, it's, I, I always knew where it, where it began and I always had ide an idea of the very, very end. But those moments between, it's, you know, the excitement of being a writer is coming into each new episode is, it's thrilling, you know. And, and working with Knight, it was always a question of we'd talk about every episode before starting and moving on to the next one. So it was, you know, logical steps and things change along the way that, you know, you you always got your eye on that end goal, but at the same time, there's so many twists and turns that you got to incorporate that. And of course, you have other writers who are bringing different ideas to you as well. Actually, or... we don't. Actually, oh, really? you know, it's me. I wrote every single one of these. Okay. So for season one, so there's yeah, it was. It's a very small group. It's a very contained, you know, contained working environment. And what was your collaboration with uh, M Night Shyamalan like? Uh, it's great. You know, I, I think we've got very similar sensibilities. I think we, we sort of came together by accident, but we sort of bonded over the fact that we like telling difficult stories. We don't, you know, we don't want to take the easy option. We want to, we want to strive to give the audience something they haven't had before or, you know, package it in a way that they weren't expecting. So I th we're constantly coming from the same place, trying to outdo each other and top each other with, with the craziness. <laughs> and, you know, we have to also at the same time restrain each other right. because... When one goes too far, you pull them back, and you know it, it's a it's a very interesting relationship. Uh, and of course, you know you can't spoil uh, how this ends. But uh, could you see a second season, or is it basically just its own thing, one and done? No, I, you know there's more to come. There's, there's absolutely, you know, I think there's more story to tell, and you know these. I'm not done telling these character stories, so the more we can do, the better. Right now, you hired a nanny for a doll. Where did you find her? She is wonderful with Jericho. And if my baby trusts her, so do I. How much did those boys tell you about what happened? What if she wakes up? What if she remembers? your home?